What's up guys? So today I'm doing a quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how to link from a level 1 super to a level 3 super with Yamcha. So it looks a little something like this. Here's the level 1 super. And then there's the level 3 super. And as you can see, they comboed into each other. So this only works in the corner, first of all. And then you have to do a very specific method to make it work. So in case you don't know how Yamcha's level 1 super works, basically you can adjust what direction the ball goes in for the follow-up hits by holding a direction on the joystick. And then you can change the timing based on the timing you press the buttons. So you can press it really fast to make it hit really fast, or you can press it really slow to make it hit really slow. So there are a few directional combinations that work for this, but I'm going to tell you the one I use. So you do, the first hit automatically goes forward, then the second hit you want to go back, third hit you want to go up, fourth you go forward, fifth you go back, and then the sixth and final hit you go down forward. So again it looks like this, forward, back, up, forward, back, down, forward, and you can see you get that little sliding knockdown. And if you pay attention to the timing, you can tell I'm inputting the buttons very slowly. That's important because you want them to float higher in the air so that you have, you know, a wider window for uh, landing that super to follow up. So it's not that hard. So if you're doing it from a DHC, the timing is a little bit harder. Uh, you have to do it a little bit faster. What I do is I do two groups of three. So like that, you can see I did kind of two groups of three with a gap in the middle. That, to me, is the most consistent way to make it work. Uh, but then solo, it's pretty easy, and you can do it off of whatever combo, you know, like... Something like this. And there you go. So, once you get the hang of it, it's not super hard, but, uh, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky at first. So, with that, I'm gonna cut to some footage from yesterday's stream where I somehow managed to pull this off in a match. I think for the first time, that was the first time I ever did it in a match. So hope you enjoy, guys. Be like, why are the buttons on your controller so loud? They'd be like, are you slapping your controller with like a fish? And I was like, no, it's just a stick. Uh, Lost Sights, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. We are just, uh, I guess the mission today is we're trying to make it to uh, whatever the next rank is above Super Saiyan 2. What is it, Elder Kai? Something like that. Ooh, that went well. We got Yamcha back, too. I'm going to do, like, overhead plus Yamcha. Okay, nice. Vanish to get out. I need to have more solid block strings when I don't have an assist. I kind of just let the block string end, which I know is bad. I need to go into Kamehameha. Uh, Supreme Kai? Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> yeah, pre Mad Cat's going out of business. I have a TE2 as well. That's kind of my second player stick. But I'm always scared to use it because it's like if it breaks, Mad Cat's isn't going to be around to fix it, you know? It's kind of a shame that they went under because they really did make good sticks. Everybody was always like joking about like, oh, like Mad Cat's is like the controller you make your friend play with because you don't want to use it. But uh, no, they really did make really good sticks. Uh, at least the first the first generation TEs were like the best sticks on the market at the time, easily. Of course, other brands caught up, like Adark and Kamba and Hori and stuff. But at the time, uh, Mad Cats was great. Oh, glad to hear that uh, you like my videos. That's awesome. I am definitely doing my best out here to uh, see how far we can take this. Uh, I've really been enjoying this week so far, you know, just... Having time to really take my time on the video today that I uploaded, not having to be like, well, I just got home from a full day of work, and now I have to make a video? Like, that really takes the wind out of your sails, but now I can, like, really focus on it, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have supered there. That was a mistake. I didn't have enough meter to kill. Okay. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll just hit him low. Yep. Oh no, I dropped it. There we go, the super armor. That's one way to beat Super Dash. 
Okay, we're trying it, guys. Yeah, <laughs> you guys see that? Oh, for the kill. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my god. That's got to be a clip or a highlight or something. I'm going to do something with that, but whoo, whoo. That felt good to land. All right, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed and found it informative. If you're looking for more tutorials like this one, I just created a playlist of all my Dragon Ball Fighters character tutorials, so hopefully that helps you out. Uh, and if you haven't already seen my video from yesterday, I think you might enjoy it. It is a wish list of everything I want from the upcoming Dragon Ball Fighters patch. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.